scenario of bombing Iraq's nuclear facility by the Israeli Air Force can be repeated at a time when policies and negotiations point in that direction. InfoLive TV has researched all the recent political maneuvers and visits by world leaders and has reached the conclusion that the clock is ticking. <laughs> Defense Minister Hood Barak visited the United States last month and conducted meetings with American administration officials. A number of issues were raised at the table, including Syria and the Palestinian issue. But the topic discussed mostly was Iran. The Arabic media reported that Barak discussed with the Americans not only the implementation of economic sanctions on Iran, but also military strikes on Iranian facilities in order to prevent the nuclear bomb from becoming a reality. In the race against time, nuclearization should not be allowed to win. Time is indeed running out and we need a sense of urgency here to frustrate Iran's march towards military nuclear capability. The world must come together, including Russia and China and India, to resist Iran's policy and behavior and to impose much, much tougher sanctions on Iran and never exclude any option out of the table. Earlier this month, French President Sarkozy met with US President George Bush. The two leaders continue to display determination and steadfastness against the nuclear threat. We talked about Iran and the desire to work jointly to uh, convince the Iranian regime to give up their nuclear weapons ambitions. In Brussels this week, the NATO military chiefs of staff convened. Israel's chief of general staff, Gabi Ashkenazi, also participated. The meeting covered an array of important military issues. Ashkenazi also provided details of the Iranian threat and solutions on how to curb it. Iran exercised what they call the four Ds. They are determined to reach nuclear military capability by defying the whole world, deceiving the whole world, delaying any response, and deterring any response. President Shimon Peres concluded his visit to Turkey. While world media focused on his speech before the Turkish parliament, the aim of the visit allowed Peres to hand over confidential information on Iran's nuclear program to the Turkish officials. The information handed over by the president is viewed as a first step to persuade the world that Iran must be stopped at all cost. Iran has already begun to feel that a military strike is closely approaching and handed over to the International Atomic Energy Agency a report proving it's building nuclear facilities. Why is Iran acting like that? The answer is clear. Iran is feeling the effect of world pressure and the approaching danger. Therefore, Iran will try to press for more time by handing over additional information which shows she is collaborating with the agency and at the same time distancing sanctions and military action against it. <laughs> ممن يشعرون بقلق تجاه مستقبل إيران ممن يؤرزون سياسات أحمد نجاد وخاصة فيما يتعلق بتقسيم اليورانيوم إيران at all costs is trying to prevent the sanctions but at the same time is considering military action two weeks ago the Iranian Security Council convened to discuss possible military strikes against the Republic and its planned response شما قطنامه خواهی صادر بکنید بکنید هر دشمنی کردید کردید در جی هم نکردید دارید میکنید مردم هم تحمل میکنن قدرتمندانه در مقابل سوزه های شما ایستادند و قد علم کردند که تا آخر و تا نقطه نهایی در مقابل شما مقامت کنند History has proven that diplomatic pressure fails to produce results but diplomatic pressure after military conquest does produce results Recent signs of despair have become apparent and the West is already considering its next step. My position hasn't changed and that is all options are on the table. I would hope that we could solve this diplomatically.